what's up guys i hope you guys are doing great um thanks for always i appreciate you guys for always turning up for me uh in today's class i want to show us how to cut a bump shot a very short pant so this is my fabric fold your fabric into two measure one inch down like this then you slant you're going to slant the front I'm slanting the front so that it won't really affect my measurement. So this is the band. The band is going to be two inches. So I'm taking out that two inches. Then you take your hip line. You take your hip line. The hip line from waist to the hip is nine inches. Then this is the crotch. The crotch is 11. Then this is the full length, 15 inches plus the folding allowance. So how to get your crotch, just divide your hip by 4. That, that will be your crotch measurement, your hip by 4. So this is the hip measurement divided by 4 plus 1 inch. then on the crotch line you are going to take your lap measurement divided by two plus one inch on the hip line you take your hip measurement divided by four then this part one inch just to give a give a curve to the pants so you measure one inch at this upper part So now this is about uh, 13 inches. So you divide by two. Whatever you have there, you mark. So I get the center of the pants. So you determine the wideness from here. So it's going to be five here. It's going to be five here, then five here. So just connect. Half of your lap measurement is what you're going to measure from that down so that you'll be able to get the the center of the pants so the waist is 28 uh, sorry 32 divided by 4 which is um 8 inches then you're going to add 2 inches allowance you connect to this point then you connect to the waistline on the hip line, we added one. On the uh, lap measurement, we added one. Then on the waist measurement, we added two inches. So that's that. About the front. So cutting the back, so always very easy. So always very easy. Cutting the back. So all you need to do is um on this part you measure two inches two inches from that part then here you're going to add two inches here too you know we removed one inch before so you're going to add back down one inch then you add another one extra then you connect to this edge here So from this point you are going to connect them together like this make sure you intercept this front part then this down part 1.5 inch then you just connect then this part you are going to have one inch on this side you are going to have one inch there So you're just going to cut out. You're going to cut it out like this. So fold into two like this to mark the center where you're going to insert your dart. So you're going to sew about four inches down. About 
about four inches down. This is the front to join like this. You know, this is what it's going to look like after joining. Then you take one side of the back. After it's after taking the dart, you're going to join with half inch. Then the other side you join with half inch. Then you hold the back together. You hold the back together like this. After joining the side, take your waist measurement and the hip measurement. Then after that, you take your lap measurement, you join the same thing on the other side, then you end it down with how many, uh, whatever inches you want to use, maybe two inches or so. So I've already done that. This is the joining. This is the joining. So now look at the bag. This is the dart. So now if you want to cut the band, you're going to place this way. You know, the pants, the, the waistline is not straight. So definitely your band is not going to be straight. If you want it to be very firm, so just place like this and try to mark. So the, the, the band is supposed to be two inches. So now we are going to make the wideness. We are going to make it three inches. We are going to make it three inches. So by the time you use a half inch to turn at the upper part, then you still use half inch to join. So it's going to come back to that two inches. So this wideness here is three inches so regardless of how you're going to do it you're going to sew one inch out of it then it's going to remain two inches so you place on it and you cut another one you place on it and you cut another one so if you like you can decide to go meet if you like you can decide to go meet and if you like maybe if the material is kind of thick you can just decide to leave it like that so knock the center so you are going to place on each other just like i said if you like you can gum it with paper stay or maybe with your stay but preferably i stay so that it will be it will be smooth and neat so just sew like this round then after we turn you iron, you iron. So this is it. I've already sewn in the upper part. I turned it. I've ironed it. You fold into two and you notch the center. So this is the pants. So if you want to attach it now, you are going to start from the left side. You are going to open this side because the zip is going to be by the side. So now this left side, just place it on the joining, on that side joining. This center, you're going to place it on that side, side joining. Then you're going to sew it all through. You're going to sew it all through like this. Don't forget to weave after sewing. Don't forget to weave after sewing. So after that, you just insert your zip by the side. And your pant is ready so look at it it's as simple as that thank you guys for watching please don't forget to share and subscribe